when she's wearing a Seth Rollins shirt, you know she's about to get serious. I just want to say, these are my opinions. They, they can be wrong. They can be right. They're just my opinions. You can argue below. Argue with me. That's fine. Whatever. Hello! Today's video goes with the theme of my shirt. We're gonna talk about WWE. Because a lot of people I know have been waiting for me to mention WWE because I mention it a lot on Snapchat. And so, in today's video, we're gonna talk about why I watch it, why I like it, and why you should hate less. I'm not sure where to start. I think I'm gonna talk about some misconceptions, or I guess not misconceptions, because they're technically true, but they shouldn't be reasons why people should hate on WWE, okay? The number one thing for sure that I hear all the time, wrestling is fake. Yes, to an extent, wrestling is definitely fake. The purpose of wrestling is for entertainment. And so, for entertainment purposes, they have to keep each other safe. It's all about making sure that your opponent doesn't get severely injured. But that doesn't mean that a lot of their physical activity going on in the ring doesn't hurt like you try being slammed into a table and saying that shit felt like bouncing off your bed try it i dare you to be slammed into a table regardless of how sturdy or not sturdy it is because duh they have to make those things breakable to put on a good show people need to think people need to think this through so yes it's fake the slaps to the chest fake sure some of them are not. You don't know that. Are you in the ring? No. I know for damn sure bouncing off other bodies, bouncing off onto the floor, bouncing and breaking tables hurts. Like, they're not made out of steel. Are you made out of steel? You're acting like they're made out of steel. <laughs> Yes, it's fake, but it's for the safety of the wrestlers. And it's only fake to an extent. The outcomes of the matches, sure, they could be predetermined. They can possibly be made within the ring. You know, the, the refs have headsets in, the, in their ears, so it, it could change all the time. Yes, some matches are predetermined. That's just the way WWE is. It's like, it's entertainment, you know? And they, they want to see the reaction of the crowd. They want to see where a certain storyline can go. It's all about creativity. I mean, I understand why people may be against that. Wrestling can and cannot be perceived as a sport. I know some people that don't think it's a sport because it's for entertainment purposes. It's rigged, whatever, whatever. Isn't boxing rigged sometimes? Isn't MMA rigged sometimes? But those are sports. Look, people have their own definition of sports, you know? People think golf's a sport. I mean, sure, it's a it's a sport. It takes talent to hit a little ball the right uh, the right way, I guess, towards a hole. You know, it takes talent to cheer your butt off and do all those acrobatic stuff. WWE wrestling is definitely I consider it a sport for sure. You know, though they train really hard and or at least some of them do. Some of them train really hard and you can tell they're really passionate about it and 
you know, they put their bodies through a lot. Does a golfer bounce off the top rope and do like three backflips? I don't think so. At the end of the day, these are opinions. Another reason why a lot of people don't like WWE today that I've heard a lot is that it was better back in the day. And to some extent, I find that very true. Um, you know, the, the Attitude Era had um, a lot of, there's just a lot of good entertainment going on back then. You'd see a lot more blood for sure and just like, it was, it was a lot more, um, it was a lot more vulgar, I guess. Now, they, they had to tone it down. I don't remember why. I know why, I just don't remember it right now. It's definitely toned down, and I understand why people don't watch it anymore. I actually stopped for a certain amount of time because there was no one I liked wrestling and there was nothing really going on so I understand that for sure people gotta give it a chance you gotta watch it a few times to really like find the person you like and then once that happens it's full speed ahead guys guys even though it was better back in the day I believe that it's going pretty well now um you know, there's a lot more diversity going on. Jinder Mahal is like, he's a title holder right now. Like, that guy was in Three Man Band. We're the Three Man Band. I loved them. <laughs> the Divas division has grown tremendously, I think, cause I know in the past, the women were first like escorts and then they eventually started wrestling and then you know one of the mo more iconic female wrestlers was Lita and how she was just so like hardcore and everything and um, she was just really good at what she did and you couldn't say that about a lot of the girls you can say that about a handful but not not a lot and now you you can definitely say that there's more diva talent on the roster not as much as there would be if AJ Lee was on the roster but that's a different story they're definitely building that division they I think they just announced like an all-female Royal Rumble progress dude progress female wrestlers are pretty good nowadays they have good technique whatever just thought I'd throw that out there I don't personally have a favorite. I kind of like Alexa Bliss. So now we're going to go into why I personally like it. One, you don't understand. I have this symbol on my car. It's like the, the magnet. It's behind my phone. Like I have, it's on my laptop. Right there. I have it there too. When my phone rings, it's his theme song. <laughs> I have like four of his shirts. My best friend just bought me. Hold on. This guy. They bought me a mug. Like, with the symbol on it. I'm so excited. I'm obsessed with mugs right now. I'm actually drinking coffee. Look at this mug so cute I love him okay and I'm gonna tell you why I love him not just because he does CrossFit not just because he's handsome no even though those things are a plus that guy went from the shield being in a team of three to being like a one-man revolution he betrays Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns to build his career so he turns heel and everyone's against him and you know that's a good heel when everyone's against you so everyone's against him i'm over here like yes the architect has come through he's making big changes he's doing big things him betraying the shield 
was the best move he could have done for his career and for all the other what's-their-faces careers. I'm just kidding. I like Dean Ambrose. Roman Reigns, though, not a fan. If I watched wrestling just for the attractive men, I would definitely be a Roman Reigns fan, but I'm not. He just plays his character so well. And I just, I appreciate that. Like, Dean Ambrose, like, he still has that, like, I'm crazy thing about him. But, like, he plays that so well, and that's why I like him, too. You know what I mean? But Seth Rollins has my heart. I love that guy. I love him. I truly believe wrestling brings families together. You know, you got young, impressionable kids watching wrestling they go towards a figure that they either relate to or they just enjoy watching and that exposure comes from their parents or their older siblings like i i true i've seen wrestling bring people together if you have a family that's really into wrestling like wrestlemania is kind of like the super bowl unless your family's more into football than wwe then the Super Bowl is the Super Bowl and WrestleMania is like Super Bowl Junior. <laughs> I just really like that it brings people together. It brings strangers together. I went to an AJ Lee book signing. Fun fact, I love AJ Lee. She was the first person I saw on WWE that I really resonated with and loved. This may come as a shock, but I didn't watch it when I was younger. When I started watching it, I was just like everyone else. I was like, it's fake. Like, like I can't get into it because it's fake. Like, they, they predetermine all these things. Like, why even watch if, you know, like, it's already decided. Like, how do you really know? But then, AJ Lee showed up. And I was like, that's me. <laughs> She's like significantly shorter than I am, but that's when I fell in love and I never looked back. AJ Lee's theme song used to be my ringtone. When she retired, I cried. I was at work and I didn't want to believe it. I legitimately cried and I just I was at a desk and I just <laughs> I went to an AJ Lee book signing here in LA and so many people were there for one reason or another but it all stemmed from WWE and it it was it was cool it was like having a mutual understanding of something you all really enjoy you know that's with anything you know like sports bring people together Music festivals bring people together. I just, I just really appreciate that aspect of WWE, for sure. I think the fans of WWE are another reason. <laughs> like, if you listen to the chants, they get so creative. I love that. I love that. I love how into WWE people get, especially at live events. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to a few and I, I love it every time just because I get to like scream with all these random people at the same person like that's I love that <laughs> and of course there there are things I don't like about it like sometimes the WWE creative team just I don't want to get into it because it's just <laughs> that's a whole other video in itself honestly but Sometimes they push the wrong people or sometimes they push and then nothing happens like Bray Wyatt Nuff said I'm making this video in honor of No Mercy this Sunday and me attending Monday Night Raw on the 25th If you're gonna be there say hi and if not, I'm gonna make a sign Look out for that sign in the crowd. Look out for it. You'll see me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look out for a sign. I don't know what it's gonna say yet. It's probably gonna say I love Seth Rollins. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be a basic and write a sign that says I love Seth Rollins. But look out for that on your TV screens.
or your DVRs or the WWE Network. But thanks for listening to me talk about wrestling and how much I enjoy it. I know this video was all over the place because I get really passionate about this and sometimes I just don't say everything I want to say because I, I start getting sidetracked by like all these other things that I like about it and so the, this video is definitely <laughs> trash <laughs> but uh, I definitely want to make more wrestling related videos because I love it. So thanks for watching again. Like and subscribe at the bottom. Leave a comment. Tell me why you hate WWE. Why you love it. Why you watch it. Why you don't watch it. Tell me everything. Have a debate with me. Have a debate with other people down there because I know a lot of people that are fans of WWE and I'm sure they'll fire back. <laughs> so that would be really interesting to see. So do that if you feel really passionately about this or against this. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye kids. I love it. I'm gonna lose so many friends because of this. I get really passionate about this, as you can tell. I'm so sad. I should not have played that one. I'm so devastated. I was so sad. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs>